All right, welcome back for the second game. Let's battle some more. All right, got our next opponent. Oh my god, please, thanks. Which kind of failed, because that should be an H. But I see what he was going for. And we're on the play with a pretty good hand. It's one of these hands, as long as we don't ever uh, not draw any power anymore, should be pretty good. But if we get stuck on the two power we have, we might be in some serious trouble. And that's kind of a start towards that, unfortunately. Not sure, like this blocks, the Oni prevents two damage, but doesn't do a whole lot else. This trades with the Oni, but is super power inefficient. And this, well, this is just what it is. It's like not doing anything. Kind of think I like this the most. Although the problem is if we draw power, we kind of want to play student. Yeah, let's play a student. Means we take two damage, but ultimately I think it gives us the best out uh, set for drawing a power. These are all the things where like decisions come up and matter, because you have to think all these things through and optimize them. And it's okay if he tortures here if he doesn't have another play. And yeah, we once again miss the power. And yeah, I think I want to play infantry here. In case he has like a virus favor or something. And if not, we can try. And if he has, we still have one attacker. There's the favor. Because blocking with the outlet and then getting virus favor is way brutal. Get back in for some damage and then. Silence this away. It's a bit unfortunate because I really kind of want this for like a champion or something, but it's our best play here. That's really hurtful. That's brutal. That was a good draw though. I think we can't really block because of rapid shot and Ferris favor and stuff, and he might also have a queen or another uh, highwayman. So it's just too bad to try and block. It's not likely to succeed. Even though we kind of don't like trading damage here because we're behind, but yeah, there's one of the reasons why trading damage is what we have to do. Okay, let's play this. Attack one more. We're not gonna win this one. Missing that power drop was just too much. And him having the cheap answers. Rapid shot probably. Yeah. There's no coming back from this. Realistically. That highway man was so brutal. Alright. Other aggro decks can be a bit problematic if you don't have like a strong start. Because the evasion doesn't matter as much in the matchups and their one drops are two attack hours are potentially one ones and die to various favor and stuff like that. And Highwayman does a lot of life swinging more than um, Commando. So yeah, in aggro mirrors this deck is not that well positioned as we just saw. Okay, that's it for game two. We are one and one. Four more games to go. Stay tuned for the next one coming up.